Hello, everybody. It's great to have you here tonight. It's our final episode of the year, 2021, it's December 23rd. And this is our last Compass Games Town Hall session. We're going to be doing a year in review with Bill and Billy Thomas. We're looking forward to uh, doing the year in review actually with you. We think this is going to be a great example of an audience participation night as we want to take a look back at what was 2021 and we're hoping you'll be able, you'll be able to do that with us and share your thoughts about our games from the past year etc so uh yeah we're looking forward to we're really looking forward to tonight's episode to also to thank you all before we uh, get started as always let me uh, just bring up the uh product page so just a few quick announcements the schedule's been updated and we'll talk to bill about that here in a moment made a slight change in the format but there's definitely from the home page you'll see there's a change in the schedule on the left side as far as the game order and we'll talk about that with bill here in a moment um, also want to let you know if you're a subscriber to our email newsletter that was sent out uh, earlier today as well so we announced the uh, combat volume 2 kickstarter it's now live on kickstarter Thanks for all the support. It's one of our strongest Kickstarters I can see already, just based on the number of people that are participating in the Kickstarter. And as always, if, if you've done a pre-order, you don't have to do any pledge on Kickstarter because you've already got your pre-order in. This is just another way for us to reach other people that maybe not aren't going to our website or ordering direct through our website. So they're finding out about the game through Kickstarter. So it works well for us. Um, also, of course, we're live now with tonight's session. Um, the holiday catalog is actually still good through January 25th. So for another, what, 34, 35 days, you can still uh, place your orders. If there's anything you come up short on as far as uh, your supply line for uh, holiday presents, you can make it up in January because our offer extends through January 25th as well. And, and as I've always mentioned each uh, episode, we have our Paper Wars issue subscription. It's time to renew to get issues 101 through 104. Everybody who has Paper Wars 100, which will be our next Paper Wars, that will be the final one for the current subscribers. And then you want to be in the 101, 104 slot. And then also we'll talk about here again in a moment, our upcoming game releases. We'll talk to Bill and Billy about that, but we'll, we'll walk through what we have on Slate starting out for 20. 22. So that has been added uh, to the newsletter. And again, it's also on our website. Low stock alert is still in effect. Just to make sure everybody knows these are items that will not be reprinted. No plans to reprint. Uh, working with uh, Maurice Fitzgerald at Moe's Game Table. Moe's been helping us on a lot of things. And one in particular is helping us with Vassal modules and a big effort to really get caught up on uh, previous game releases that didn't have a module. So in this newsletter, uh, we announced brand new uh, five new modules were released. Uh, Absolute Victory, which was actually an update to a previous one that hadn't been posted before. So it has a corrected turn track. Scenarios were adjusted uh, based on the errata as well. So consider that a sort of a refresh for Absolute Victory. And then the four new titles were America Bomber, uh, Evil Queen of the Skies, uh, The Battle of Armageddon, Deluxe Edition, Indian Ocean Region, which is part of the South China Sea series, and Red Poppy's Campaigns Volume 3. So as promised, uh, we're really doing our best to uh, get these modules uh, completed and, and, and do them in a nice, you know, we have great, great Vassal uh, developers who do a great job with it. So we're just really pleased to be able to bring that to you. Uh, paper, as a, and again, our recent releases to close out the year was obviously Paper Wars Issue 99 with Assault on Tobruk as well as Kharkov Battles. We'll probably talk a little bit more about Kharkov Battles tonight. And thanks to all the work of Mark Regero and David White and, and the 1,500 members on Facebook, that group continues to grow. I think last time I mentioned the group, uh, it was 1,400 members. I checked today, and they're up to 1,500-plus members, so it keeps on growing. We also had our latest uh, uh, Learn to Play session, which was the Doomsday product, which was hosted by the designer, Adam Starkweather. So you can watch the recording that was, again, mentioned uh, in this newsletter uh, to make sure to check it out. Uh, and you also have a link on our main website now to the Learn to Play series. You can watch those videos. And previous town hall session we did with Bill back on December 9th, and the rest is pretty pretty straightforward stuff. So again, lots, lots of stuff to catch up on uh, as we close out the year. But without further ado, let me bring in uh, Bill and Billy Thomas so we can get... Uh, get started and uh well it's time to close out the year bill 2021 is uh countdown clocks gonna hit us here shortly so hope it's been a great year and hope you're enjoying the holidays yes and um merry christmas and happy holidays to everybody and happy new year and all that good stuff my god i should have wore red you know i didn't wear my christmas red tonight I so to i paul i should have wore christmas red tonight you know my bad my bad on that one 
but it's another year. Unbelievable. <laughs> Time is flying by, it seems, sometimes, so that's for sure. And I know people have a lot of questions. I, I took the questions off the Constant World forum, so I think there's going to be a lot of questions tonight. And actually, like I said, I think it's questions to put to everybody that's uh, joining us on the broadcast tonight. We're almost at 150 viewers, which is awesome to close out the year with 150 people. So thanks to everybody who's uh, joining us. And as, uh, as mentioned, yes, the festive, uh, very festive flannel that you're wearing, Bill, Brittany, Brittany's taken note of it. Very well done, I'd say. So oh, yeah, you so, gotta so, get in the spirit. That's right. That's right. So uh, how do you want to uh, start off tonight? There's so much to cover. Uh, I've got a list of questions. I, I, what's that? A list of oh, questions yeah. that people want to see asked tonight. I, I got my hear that. I got uh, my crib notes. <laughs> no, I gotta say that I just wanted to say to everybody, okay, all our designers, developers, artists, um, Everybody does a great job and happy, happy new year. Happy, Merry Christmas to everybody because we couldn't do without them. Okay. We got a great bunch of um, designers. We have a great bunch of um, developers, play testers and artists and couldn't do without them. So I, I think they, they're the ones that don't get a lot of um, recognition. Right. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. But they, but they really make compass games what it is. And yes. so I want to give everybody a shout out, shout out for that. Okay, Absolutely. and um, all the everybody and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I want to um, shout out to you, John, because you continue to um, do a great job for us. And um, again, couldn't do without you either. You're you're. Well, it's a team effort. It is a team effort. It's a team um, effort. We, we've got um, obviously we got this guy, which what <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about him, but. Um, <laughs> No, it, it's us. We have a great bunch of people, and that's what Compass Games is all about. It's not about me. It's not about um, me. It's not about me. I said that three times. Okay. It's about, <laughs> everybody, it's about everybody who makes Compass what it is. Sure. Okay. And as we grow and as we continue to do what we do, okay, um, and it's not even like it's people like um, the people who Compass Enthusiasts, it's Mo, it's all our supporters out there that go on – unknown and stuff that really make what we do um successful that's so right I just wanted to say, and the customers without the customers what would it be that's yes. right oh, it's man. all about you bill it's all about it's a, it's really all about your unboxings the, the, the bill the bill and billy unboxings i think are the highlight and, of, well we'll get into the highlights of 2021 but it's maybe a tough to unseat and you there a big shout out to do okay mm -hmm. um Julian has been head of production yes. for what the last two years, yeah. two and a half years, and he is oh my god, the stuff that he deals with with China, the U.S. Yep. I'll tell you, it's incredible. I, I he I I get files and I say I'm gonna show yep I'm gonna show a picture of Julian here in a second uh, yeah, if I can. He, he's the he's the he's, he's, he's a stud. Yeah, he's the cover page. Like you think we're studs? He's 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 a stud. No, he is. He's, he's like a freaking model. So here's here's Julian from just the recent, uh, you know, our current Kickstarter. We haven't talked about the schedule yet. I think we still need to do that. And nice and here's job, the Kickstarter. He does them all now for there. He's got yeah. the professional lighting. He's got the light hitting him perfectly. He's got the perfect color balance going on. He's he's oh, rocking no. it. He's, he's he's definitely doing it. But like you said, production, all the production stuff behind the scenes is really hard work, you know? Oh, yeah. No, I'll, we'll get emails. I won't even know what these people are talking about from China. Or, and he'll, and he solves in like two seconds. He knows what they're talking about, the files being wrong and stuff like that. So he gets a big shout out. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, so did we miss anybody? Oh, Adam. Well, we, Adam gets want, a shout out. He does a good job. Everybody does a good job. Yeah, so yeah. Gonna... So I was going to say, do you want to go through the schedule real quick? I know there's some business maybe we want to get out of the way. Oh, Just... yeah. And. The yeah. biggest shout out, which a lot of people don't know, is behind the scenes. Yep, is my wife Carolyn, and she oh, is, absolutely. Yeah. Oh my God, and, and people people have this misconception that, um, and I'm not taking anything away from John. Okay. Oh, that's compass, that's all good. The Compass Convention, okay, is really done by her. Mm -hmm. She's the one that really makes it happen. Okay, yeah. and she really works with the hotel with Billy and gets all that convention stuff done. And we had a great convention. And um, yeah, oh yeah, that was good. 
That's great. Well, let's do this. Let's a lot of people, uh, I think we'll be interested to hear about what's changing in the schedule oh, yeah. or what the update is in the schedule. Yeah. And the other thing I got to give a shout out to. Okay. It's, it's just, I, I, it's, you got a lot of shout outs, Bill. You're, you're, yeah, you're full of, you're full of shout outs tonight. It's, it's not a bad I thing. And Paul, Ty Bamba with Paper Wars and all oh, the yeah. artists that are just, yeah. um, really, that's all they do for me. And they they put on um, paper wars on a consistent basis, and they really do a good job. So um, I want to shout out to them. I want Greg Smith. You, you know, I could keep I could keep going for an hour on everybody. Yeah. I appreciate. So I want to um, do that. So. Yeah, been it's been great to see paper wars. Has been really doing well. People, I think, have really yeah. been enjoying I, it more. I, I, I gotta say that that's my lead into why Compass, okay, has have released again this year more new product than any other company in the war game business. Okay. Yep. And when I mean new product, I mean new compass product. Okay. Right. Not second reprintings of our games, not third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, tenth. Right. Okay. Because we don't even count those. I don't even make a big deal. We've, we've reprinted probably six games this year. Yeah. yeah. Seven, I think that, that we don't even put in our numbers. So we released 19 products, new Compass products. Yeah, so, yeah. Gimpy, Gimpy Gamer is one of the content contributors. He's like, yeah, we have, we're have we having trouble keeping up here. <laughs> We've yeah. got all the reviews to do, the videos, and you guys are just pumping out products all the time. You know, it <laughs> gets a little overwhelming yeah, and, sometimes. And, and people say, well, um, remember, there's a big difference. When we do reprints, okay, of games that we – never did before they're new products to us yeah okay whether we do third world war or nato they, they could have been done 40 years ago but it takes us as much effort, effort yeah. to get those to production probably even more because the problem is is you can always make mistakes with a new game right but when you have the old game okay so when i'm saying new product i mean new compass product meaning that it could have been a game done 40 50 years ago but it's still not our product yeah i don't know how many games decision did for the year i, I don't really don't no, know because decision cut out their magazine their well, I, magazine. I know modern wars i think they closed out modern war magazine um so they've got s and t uh and i know they do folio games the uh half mapper games still i believe i, I haven't kept close tabs on decision to so be so honest it's all, all yeah. i'm saying is we're uh, I'm taking yeah. that. I'm taking that high road until somebody knocks me off. There you go. All right. Well, we'll probably have more games next year. So, <laughs> so yeah, I might be off of one or two games, and somebody might have. But, but I'm stating it that um, yeah. Compass again produces more new games, not second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth seven, eighteenth printing or something. Games. War sure. games. Well, obviously, war games. Oh, well, that one's right. But irrelevant of that. Irrelevant of that. Okay. So um, we're heading into the new year. We've got a lot of good product. Yeah, uh, I'll make this Imperial, a little bit Imperial bigger. Tides, what? I know, I did. Nice. Imperial Tide will ship. Um, what were we shipping that? Yeah. That's going to ship first week of January. All okay. right, first week of January. So just so everybody knows, on the left side here is what's going to be coming out. And we, uh, as you mentioned, Bill, we had discussions about removing the dates on releases, just yeah, putting I'm the not order. Sure. Just putting the order in, right? Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, no. so we're so we're gonna dispense oh, with so dates we, and we can all say this about Bill because um now Bill was putting together Third World War today. Okay. Okay. And I thought it see, is, just, see how, how this works yeah. is I usually get my copy at least. Well, yeah, but you I give it to you when it's done. It has, it has, when no, you, no, you don't. When I always finish when I'm always done, I give it to you. Well, yeah, but this has taken two days. I know, but that's what I mean. So I thought I'd be setting up Third World War today, tonight, and stuff like that. But I, I got can, nothing. I can still get to you tomorrow. I, I get nothing. But you're so not I thought Bill there. was going to have Third World War for us tonight, and hmm, no, nothing. So blame him. All him. right, we'll blame him. I'll take blame on that. All right, so we got Imperial Tide will be first week of January. Oh, yeah, it probably is, but they would have catch it. Yeah. They would catch it. Okay. I'll let on. you go through the I'll let you go through the schedule here, Bill, that everybody can see here on the left. But we got Imperial Tide first week of January. I don't know if you want to get specifics about the rest, but they're in general yeah, order Combat of release. Two. Combat yeah. two is on Kickstarter, and no, you if you've got a pre-order, the pre-order stands. Yeah. Don't yep. redo it on Kickstarter. 
Exactly. Okay, so combat two. Yep. Okay, then St. Lowe's. Yep. Then Third World War. Then those. War for America, Barbarians at the Gate, and African Campaign Deluxe. Right. So that so everybody can see that now from our website. So that is now the order uh, for releases starting first week of January, going going on through the first quarter. Here's what's been happening, which is incredible. And I said it last time. I'll say it again. We again, we don't have a pre-order system. Okay, yeah. so where that bites in the ass is when you think a game's going to sell a certain amount. So you order it, go into production, produce it, and within six months you realize that um, yeah, you're you're going to sell out of your first print run. Okay. The funny thing is, okay, um, Third World War, we already have the second printing happening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've just approved um, stuff for that because the first one is almost gone. Okay. Yeah, I had real good pre, a lot of, a lot of pre-orders. A lot of people went for the pre-order route on that. So yeah, and, we and need same to. Same thing with NATO. NATO is um, yep. the second printing of that is coming. Okay. Um, what's the other Oh, combat is another one. Combat two is going to be gone before. I'm going to be surprised if that, with the stuff we've got on Kickstarter and our in-order pre-orders, yeah. mm -hmm. I think we're going to be 70, 80 percent out before that. Um, by the first week. By the first month. Whatever. So I, I think that's going to go into a reprint very quickly. The other one that surprised, so you never know, is Kalkoff Battles. Kark Karkoff battle, yeah, Karkoff battles. I knew we were going to mention that. That sales have been real strong. Of yeah, well, uh, our most recent, yeah. Wait, how many? Yeah, we're almost out. Yeah. We've got probably ten percent left of the print run. Only ten percent of Karkoff battles. Okay, that's good for everybody to to hear that in case they haven't picked it up. Well, what that's I'm be... thinking, and this is only thinking because we had this, we had a meeting to Monday. What I'm thinking is I'm going to do a straight reprint of Fall Blau. That'd be great. That'd be great to get Fall Blau back out there. That that I think a lot of people are hoping you're gonna get that reprint out. Yeah, um, Russian campaign. Yeah, yeah, that. Russian campaign. Right, the map. Uh, I think most people are up to speed on that one. The map caught some errors on the map, so the map got redone. Re it's getting reprinted right now, basically. So here's the funny thing. So we tried to get it done in the U.S. The map mounted. Yeah. Okay, so it would save time instead of waiting for it to ship again. Okay, it was six times more. Six times more in cost here in the U.S.? I'm cost. sure it is and for a mounted map. Here's what all the printers said. Um, well, you got to go to China. They're the only ones that make these. Oh, really? They said ready to yeah. go to China. Oh, oh yeah, they said China. All this mounted map stuff is done in China because they have the machines that pr U.S. printers don't really have those um wait a second you said no reprint oh no it's no yeah, full blown. well you oh, said you could change that was a few episodes ago yeah. you're allowed to change your yeah. mind yeah. Oh, yeah. All, all the karkov battles orders have 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 this helped shape <laughs> no no i think we're going i, I think we're going with it but i think i think why, I, got, I got to do karkov battles again yeah yeah i mean you're oh, down to 10 percent of inventory yeah, so, so karkov battles back. is going back to print yeah yeah so it's going back so um, Brittany doesn't feel Brittany won't feel so guilty anymore since she got the last fall blow you had at the warehouse no, a few see, months ago. So she's she's feeling better tonight about that. It brings back the Christmas, you know, giving spirit, knowing she's not the last one that took something. So yeah, she's <laughs> think think she's happy about that. Is there an estimate on the stickers for Saint Low? I know we, you're going to get the game out first, I think, right? And next well, year. Well, here's what happened. Okay, I talked to Jack Green. He talked to his guys in China. I have a, which it wasn't, I find out now, that it wasn't on a ship, okay? It's been in customs in China since October 14th, okay? So I've actually got a tracking number but from the post office, okay, that just says not picked up yet, okay? Right. Um, Jack Green talked to his person in China and kind of yelled at him and said, what's going on? And I yeah. guess customs... Customs has approved the shipment out of China. So my understanding okay. is it's um it's air it's gonna be airlifted. 
so we don't have to wait for a boat. So it yeah. should be here, okay, within, hope, knock on wood, within the next couple of weeks. And then we just ship it out. So Yeah, so Bill, it's just... Your camera is looking better, uh, more chipper today, Bill. You got a new camera you're using now, or did you like shake your? Did you shake the computer yeah. to get the camera well, working? A little... camera. Oh, now it's dithering again. See, just when I say it's better, it's Eric was right. It was it was very sharp. As soon as you start moving it, uh, there you go. But our See, best selling game that was released in, in um. Yes. Okay. Yeah, now th game. this is the best selling for 2021. So released in it might not be the best selling. Oh, it's easy. It's the best selling of new product that came out in twenty one. All right, so uh, we'll have everybody guess. So the question for everybody uh, on the on the chat here is, for the release for the game releases of twenty twenty one, which was our strongest seller as a new release? You know, first print, first printing in twenty twenty one. Anybody want to take a guess what our best selling release yeah, is? So. We've got a few people yeah, weighing in here. The whole world knew it. Look, they did. No, no, not anybody said anything else. I told them. Oh, okay. They said, okay, it was close, but it. Okay, so, no so far, we, I see a I'm pattern not, emerging. I'm not sure if this is a pattern emerging well, or not. I'm not, still. Okay, and I'm with you, but it's not. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that that's a good one. That wasn't this yeah, year. Yeah, that one. Okay. Oh, that wasn't uh, Conquistadors. I Was Conquistadors uh, okay, beginning? Okay, NATO. NATO. Yeah. Now. Now we get a little tougher. What was the second? Second? What was the second? Okay, so what was the second best selling game that was released in 2021? Not the second. No, second. No, I uh, Granada. We got an answer of Granada here so far. It's the. Nope. The Pacific. Nope. Well, we'll tell you when we see something. Yeah, we'll tell you. Uh, Devil Boats. Uh, right. Karkov Battles. Uh, has to be a new one. It can't be a reprint, right? Yeah, it can't so. be. A, yeah, and lamps was lamps would have been second. Sold yeah, lamps was a reprint. Um, Indian Ocean region. No, the second. I was going to guess Devil Boats, but yeah, second was Devil Boats. So Devil Boat Dan got it right. A few people got Devil Boats here. So here are the winners here guessing right. Yep. Now, what was the? third and final the third thing in people have probably guessed the third in here already i've seen uh karkov battles i've seen what else there's been karkov battles um what? korean war the pacific no no it's indian, o war. indian ocean indian ocean regions another one korean war Here's korean war yeah korean war so we had a few people that said korean war earlier so there you go so korean war number three so there's a there's a good guess right there all right good guesses everybody karkov battles hasn't been mentioned yet as number three they're having a uh, a meeting right now business meeting is in progress so they have muted themselves i have not muted them this time so, That's now they're back here I'm we go three wars higher than Oh, all right. I, I'm surprised. I, I thought. So all right. Not, so we're back. Yep. So. I, it and yeah. it. <laughs> I know. I hold them and everything. I made sure I didn't lose it. No, so which game? So yeah. uh, next question is, uh, was there a, a certain game that maybe you were the most disappointed about that didn't do as well as you were hoping? So, uh, somebody. And then we'll let. Uh, you well, know, the I, funny thing is, is that they were all. Um, I, I knew where they all would end up. Yeah. So you weren't surprised by anything. So you were good on all the. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, I'm surprised at all the stuff. Were yeah. no, no. Wait, wait a second. I said I'm. Not, I wasn't surprised about any of the bad ones. Right. Just okay? yeah. I'm surprised on how much product we're selling of the of everything and the good ones. How many? Re yeah, I'll, stuff. I'll, I'll tell you, it's yeah. unbelievable. I'll yeah, and then you, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. What? And Justin wants to know, uh, we don't do shipping notices, Justin. Uh, so, no notice, but it's on its way. What did you buy first? Uh, Justin, what did you buy? If you tell us what you bought, we can resolve this. Uh, we can resolve this in real time for you, Justin. Just type the game games you ordered, what it was. We won't embarrass you. We won't give out your personal information. Don't worry about that. But we'll, we, can, we can find out for you tonight if you want. Yeah, Jesus. 
Uh-oh. Don't forget your town hall for the free uh, prize tonight for the end of the year. So make sure you get your town hall thing in. Uh, who was leading pre-orders or which game was leading pre-orders? Uh, I guess that would be active pre-orders then. Not Whoa, It's not cool. just games that have shipped already, but what, what game has the most pre-orders, period, that's active? I, mean, in, I want to say, it's be, it's right now. It, okay. I want to say Third World War series is my guess. Well, they know what it is. Well, you just it's very small print. Oh, you ordered several seats. And Henry's right. Oh, Thank yeah, you, Henry. What's on the way? What, what's on the way? Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, no, Sovereign, I, of the, Sovereign of the Seas isn't shipping yet, if that's what Justin's asking about. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm thinking of Sea Power and State. I'm thinking of Sea Power and State. These games are very similar. Like, yes, say, say that three times. So, yeah. Sovereign of the Seas, uh, you know about that order? Yeah, I know about it. It's probably oh, shipping it's already. Shipping. Yeah, it's in the mail. It's just on the way. Yeah. Okay, it's on the way, Justin. Thank oh, you. I was thinking of Sea Power and State, Justin. It's another pre or uh, game we have coming coming soon. No, you can't. That's right. There you go, Scott. That's how we roll here. If we can we'll try to do our best customer service we can here. Thanks for everybody getting in their town hall. Yeah, I, I think the biggest pre order is obviously Third World War yeah, right now. Be. Yeah, so Third World War is the biggest. Pre-order. No. no. What do you mean no? No, I said. So it's closest. What? What's closest after Third World War? Second. Yeah, come on. You know you like it, so don't do that. So Justin wants to know, what day will the game arrive? I'm joking. I made that up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We could do it if I could. I could call it in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay. So mute me, and I'm on my way. Yeah. Okay. I okay. Just see, mute, mute yourself. Just mute yourself. Okay. I'm going to mute myself. Okay. All right, Justin. So uh, I was joking about that, Justin, but you know, that's how we roll here. So he's going to check when he thinks your game Sovereign of the Seas is going to arrive. So uh, with that, uh, let's see here. We've got more comments in here. So I think somebody was asking earlier about the Russian campaign map. Um, Let me see if I can find it. Ha ha. There's been a lot of posts tonight. So I'm going to try my best to uh, find the question about the map, but I might not find it. Let me see here. I'll keep trying here a little bit longer. Oh, here's some, another question. Any progress on Beneath the Southern Cross? So um, Bill Cooper contacted me uh, a little over a month ago. He had sort of a change in jobs or had new responsibilities coming his way. So he, he was really focused, working too many hours in his real life with his, his job. So uh, he's going to start up again after the new year. So he's probably recharging charging his batteries right now as far as uh, that game goes. So uh, that's the update on that. Martin was asking about the, uh, are you going to fix the direction of the wording of the Russian campaign map? And actually that is by design and we've done it with other Compass Games pro- products. This is a two player game, not a solitaire game. So one player on each side of the map uh, done portrait uh, side uh, or uh, landscape mode. So with each player sitting on each side, the text is coming in to both players view and that's why it was done that way if it was a solitaire game we would obviously have all the text facing one direction but we don't want to do that to a two-player game because the one player on the other side of the table is going to be pissed off that everything is facing away from him upside down so again that's by design we've done that with other games so we don't consider that a a error with the map that's that's actually intentional by design but thanks for the question and are you back uh, there uh I think they're still muted. Okay, now they're they're still muted. They want the to mute themselves. Picked it up, so it's in there, and it says it's going to be delivered next week. Okay, so it's going to be delivered next week. That I is the update. Man. So it's local. It's at their local area already. Uh, you said it was picked up in their local area, or it was yeah, picked, it was picked up? up by. They came and picked it up. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, so well, so it'll be sometime in, next week. Yeah, it's in the mystery. Um, it won't be under. It won't be under any tree if there's a if there's a tree under there. So there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, nice comments here from. Uh, thank you for joining us on uh, YouTube. I'm going to mispronounce your label, Mat- Matkus. I'm going to I'm going to say it wrong, but uh, he's not a huge war gamer. But Compass has has a very d- diverse product line. So thank you for that. We've done some Euro games. Got the uh, Stellar Horizons, and uh, don't know if it'd be considered a straight war game. Granada. Yeah. We've got tons of it. Yeah. Where is it? Um, Thanks, David. Glad you got a reply right away. That's very cool. There's something in there. What am I looking for? 
We did do a switch from a system called Gumroad orders. So there's under archived orders. There could be more pre-orders on our website. Uh, won't be under the current pre-order list, but under the archives, you could find more uh, pre-orders there if they're older because we switched. We have to switch to a different system. So I think there was a question earlier that somebody had ordered Combat 2 a year ago or, or something. And uh, there might be another place on our website under archived orders where that pre-order hopefully is still there. So if not, email Send an email to sales at compassgames.com and uh, we can oh, definitely God, take care of you for sure. What do you mean? You gave it to me. Thanks for the pre order, Richard, for There's Combat 2. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, we can show that one, sure. Uh, yeah, Sci Fi War Game. We have another Sci Fi War Game in the works right now. I don't have th anything I can show on it right now, but it's been in playtesting for a while. But we do have. Uh, there will be another add-on for Stella Horizons, but there's also a brand new science fiction title uh, that will be coming as well uh, in the future. So I believe right now, let me pull up the name, the project title, which I believe will be the final name of the game. It's Galaxy Force. So it's by a German designer, a, game, a solitaire game called Galaxy Force, and it's been playtested for some time. So thanks for your question about sci-fi games. Any new uh, planned classic reprints like Korea NATO Third World War series? Uh, probably not. nothing we're going to get into tonight, I don't think. I know Bill requested. He wants to see... Um, Against the Reich. Against the Reich is coming, yes, from Joe Bukowski. So we are doing Against the Reich for sure. And then there was a GDW game you wanted to see, Bill. It was, uh, yes, I, think it was I two, did, but I can't remember it now. It was two games in one for GDW. Um the Russo-Japanese War, isn't it? Yeah, Russo-Japanese War from GDW was another yeah. one. And there, there's there's definitely some other ones. Um, we haven't started Siege of Jerusalem yet uh, project. That's going to start next year. But Siege of oh, Jerusalem is oh, another uh, new game. edition project of a classic game. Oh, know, that's that's uh, going to be in the works for sure. What? Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to do something. Probably wouldn't be we called Starship it. Troopers, but we could definitely I do something along next. those lines. Uh, yeah, Sua 73 is one we're actively looking at. That's true. So that is correct, uh, Bill. Absolutely. Uh, tank leaders coming along. They're still working on the, getting the rules. We've been working on the rules for the past month because we uh, had to update the rules. Uh, Desert Steel and other uh, game titles had better rules. They had been uh, refined better. So we didn't just take the tank leader Eastern Front rules. We had to actually use like Desert Steel rules and other rules to make sure we had the best wording. And then we added a few things on our own. Fleet series hasn't started up yet because we're doing against the Reich. But no, actually, Art Lupinacci, I believe. Uh, I don't know if that's one that's going to go to Art or not. We haven't decided yet on. Uh, yeah. Right now, we're doing against the Reich, against right? Against the Reich. Yeah, because the fleet series is a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. So right now, uh, against the Reich is the active project. Fleet series, I believe it's Fifth Fleet, will come after that is done. Any update on Carrier Battle? Yes, I that's do have updates. John Southard's game. I do have updates. All right. Now, Carrier Battle and Air and Armor should be going into production early next year, meaning January. Sometime in January, they both should be going into production. So that's great news. Yep, there you go. All righty. Uh, yep, that's another one. White Death is another one for sure. Uh, tell me more about the Stellar Horizons edition. I don't have I don't have details on the uh, I don't know who's working with the designer for Stellar Horizons, but I, I do understand there's some additional work uh, and some more work being yeah, put on I, that. I, I don't think he's really started anything. On no, that. I know well, it's planned. There was work planned plan, to be. But it's... Yeah, exactly. Uh, Schnell boats update is getting ready for the. Getting ready for the... No, that's ready at the printers, Schnell Boats. Yeah, no, we're just looking to how to fit it into the release schedule. Yep. Kaiser's Navy is, is getting close to wrapping up. We've done the rules proofing, etc. So it's just a matter of doing the layout. So that one's nearing completion. Awesome news on carrier battles. Yeah, yep, that is. Uh, yeah, a lot of it's... There's a... Right, right, a Cuban expansion for um, Third World War, right? Yep, Third World War will do... Uh, Doing next one's gonna be the Cuban expansion, I believe. It's because it's a smaller like three title. Or four more we've talked about. And Manchurian, Manchurian Front is another one I know for sure. But uh, there's a lot of titles on the works based on the Third World War series for sure. So um, here's an interesting question from Private Public: If you fast forward 12 months, what would you like to see happen or have happened in 2022 
That would make you very happy, chappy. Looking ahead, what would what would you like to see happening in 2022 by end of the year? Um, Besides really, getting backlog games printed that have been sitting for three years, right? <laughs> or longer. <laughs> no, just, uh, just that everybody in the organization and all everybody is still here in 2022. We're going to start in yeah. 2023. Happy and healthy. Safe and healthy because... That's what it's all about, and we're all having fun, and we do what we like to do. And um, so I just want the whole team to be here, and all my customers to be here yep. in 2023. So that's what would make me very happy. That uh, sounds good. Uh, Tim's asking any chance of a Steel Wolves reprint. Very interesting. I I actually right we actually yeah. talked about that when Silent War. I'm just going to do a straight reprint for Steel Wolves with a mountain map and kind of because there wasn't much. Um, there wasn't much wrong with it, so it's supposed to be a straight repaint with the Rata, the very little Rata. But I've thought about doing that. Okay. Uh, but, battle him, Vault. Yeah, with German fleet boats would be in there too. Just like I uh, battle battle him. Uh, Vince is asking about battle him volume two update. Yeah, I actually I actually touched base with Eric Lee Smith um, this week, and he's gonna get back to me hopefully over <coughs> ba- after the holidays. Okay, and then command and colors. Are there any anything in the future for that? system yeah i don't to be honest um i know they were working on another jacobite but no none in the american rev system okay all righty uh let's see here a few more uh rough estimate of sensuicon actually right now the artist and gregory smith who's working with the artist he might be answering in here already because i know greg joined us but um right now work's being done on atlantic sentinels the atlantic sentinels game which is the destroyer uh, group force oh, yeah. uh, which links with the hunters and after that's done sensuicon is next in line uh, so we haven't actively started artwork on sensuicon because we're in the middle of atlantic sentinels right now just to let you know uh let's see here what else do we have uh, any roma victrix update uh, for folks here Bill? yeah it's actually at the printers there we go and yes david uh, that would be a good goal for 2022 the year that the russian campaign mountains were found were rediscovered in the caucus area that is very true 21 we found it Uh, that's true we found them in 21 yeah but yeah it will be everybody will notice actually the map is already posted on the website so if anybody wants to look at the final map it is it is on the product page uh for russian campaign so you can check it out um how many staff work by the way at for compass so staff i guess the definition of staff would be folks in i guess i would count ty bomba and paul i guess although they're not employees yeah. necessarily so that's yeah i, I don't know how you want to word it yeah i don't know what you mean by staff so maybe just run through who you have right well maybe it's who you have that are uh the most involved maybe like who does command magazine because staff is you it's billy and julian right yes that's and the that's, core staff and that's the core staff so you two plus Julian are the core staff. There you go. Everybody and else. And Carolyn does stuff. And, and Carolyn, of course. And then we're all, the rest are troublemakers. I think that's the way to look at it. Yeah, and you. And Yeah, as a tr- I'm, I'm a key troublemaker, I call it. Yeah, I, yeah, as, yeah. as Mo knows, I'm the key janitor. I head janitor. So we're going to keep it that way. Keep things clean, as they say. Uh, Thomas wants to know any uh, update on Roma Victrix by chance. <laughs> you just said it, dude. Yeah, well, oh, did I say that one already? John, yes, we just said it. Oh, okay. Uh, any update to Silent War? You didn't update the guy either. I think we did that one already too, didn't we? No, Hold Silent on. War. Um, no, we talked about the German steel. We talked. Yeah, yeah, we didn't talk about Silent War. Yeah, yet. We do, we do them both again. Dude. Silent War is um, the designer is updating it, and we should have it hopefully in the next two or three months. To okay. Go A mounted map for God King. We're actually thinking of um doing a deluxe edition of god kings that's yeah, on the man. agenda to be done okay sounds good I western front they're breaking the chains uh western front uh yeah it's it's coming it's uh greg will post here comments about if the final marker counters are done yet i think the medals are almost wrapped up but uh yeah we're hoping to six months ago yeah, I know. Exactly. That's how long it takes for him to do uh, the markers. So there you go. 
Uh, so Greg might comment. Greg's talking here. Uh, or Mo, Mo's mentioning what, what Greg would say here. So uh, Blue Water Navy Pacific. Yeah, well, what's happening with that, Bill? It's been worked on. Okay, there you got it's it. worked on? The cards are being worked on. Bruce uh, just, I think, got the cards for the – there was extra cards um, than we originally thought. So I think he – I don't know if he finished it, but I know he was – Working yeah, Bruce that. is working on that. Okay. There's there's updates from Greg about Sensuicon. So yeah, he's busy right now with Atlantic Senators, but Nadir is going to be doing these. He he's going to be working on that. Bill, Bill, here's a here's a here's a good uh, a goal for 2022 end of the year is a catalog with no printing error, not having the wrong year on it, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, that was, that was fixed. It is fixed. <laughs> what well, without thing? without what having the. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Brief Border Wars 2, yeah, I know uh, we got a, got a designer update last month, but uh, honestly, I think I'll cover that one in January. Enemy Action uh, Kharkov update? Yeah, that should be out this quarter. But that's Alrighty. right on the bend. That's in the next posting of games. Okay, so that's going to be coming shortly, Vince, is yes. Enemy enemy Action Kharkov. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's right. Mo's got my title. That's my official title, just so everybody knows. So I just want to make sure everybody sees yeah, my official yeah. title. Uh, let's see. Don't know about Brusilov. Okay, we're not doing Brusilov offensive game for World War One Eastern Front, but uh, we are working on a new, it's like uh, Home Before the Leaves Falls, basically. Uh, a new version by David Bolt that's going to be simplified to maps. And I know with COVID hitting him, pretty hard the area and them doing live play test sessions there hasn't been much of an update the designer is working on the design and it is not it is not ready for pre-production work yet but uh, we're looking for that game design to get wrapped up hopefully next year we'll see how it goes what's out of the trenches update oh death in the trenches oh, he said death in the tr- the, come on mark mark death said, in the oh, trenches yeah <laughs> yeah i said out of the trenches death in the trenches yeah, i think that's the <laughs> no, that's that's a good game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's why he's asking. <laughs> oh, it's a good game. I'm telling. I've been playing it. <laughs> all right, no, that's all we're gonna in, get it. Look, that's in the second. Um, second that batch. Be, yeah, that being the second batch. That's right around the corner. All right, Robert. Yes, notice just behind me here. Oh yeah. The little blue, the little blue globe, it's making everybody. Point. Making everybody, it's not really, it's hard to see the glow because of the way the speed of the camera is. But yeah, it does sort of oscillate. I don't know how it is for everybody, but yeah, it's supposed to make hey, you order. Hold on. Oh. I got to give a shout out to dad because he okay. beat me over the weekend in Imperial Type for the first time. And he played brilliantly. And I he played him, brilliantly? Yeah, he, he played very well. I got to give him a shout out. He beat how did me. he surprise you? Was it one strategy or was it a multi-pronged oh, just, oh, strategy? I mean, I mean, he had some bad rolls oh. in the beginning, but everything... He rolled it right. Everything, Look, all the he, things. He, uh, 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 he okay. played very well. Uh, okay, I played the last game good. Yeah, but yeah, but you, but you didn't win it. Well, because I'll tell you why. You didn't win it. Uh, okay, I'll yeah. tell you why. You're right. You did play the last one brilliantly. Oh, I if had like won, six to two. It would have been your best game ever. Yes, I had. You want to know why? What? Because I think it's stupid that there should be a rule that you shouldn't have. Um, Oh, you! Oh, Greg's here. He's gonna hear that. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think it's stupid that if you capture Berlin, yeah, uh, that's how I won. Yes, you did. You couldn't w- get Belgrade. Uh, no, be- no. Before that, that before that, I was winning five to two, yeah. and I lost Berlin because you walked in right. Yeah, you, well, you, you, you we'll you have to do a learn to play series on uh, Imperial Tide, I'm and gonna, I think Bill and Billy are gonna God host it. Know. How in God's name I gotta no. leave somebody in Berlin, like? There was no way anybody was going to get to Berlin. And he just walks in. Yeah, because he doesn't leave anybody there. Because I don't leave anybody there. Julian, even Julian was surprised that you do that. Well, you you guys can do the learn to play. I'm going to let Mo know. Mo, we're going to have these guys do the learn to play for <laughs> Imperial <laughs> Tide. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. No, that me. easy, that easy. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. I I had the Italians take it and the, and the Russians take it twice in two different games. Yeah, it, I, it was I, Bill wearing long sleeve a long sleeve shirt, Billy, by chance when you played. No, but but now I got a great plan. Tell me you screwed up the setup one time for yourself. Oh, 
Then you know, and he we set up our own guy, so he sets up his guys, and I said, "Okay, I'm not touching him, and he screws all right." Up. We like Tony's idea. We'll do a learn to lose series. Well, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna oh, use God. your God. unboxing God. skills God. for a learn to lose series. I God. think that's the way. One, I think you might be on a streak. So I got. Oh, shut, you want to know why? Because I figure here. Here's what I figured out. Okay, passing <laughs> is very important to the. Um, central powers. You want to want to bleed them. You want to bleed them so they can't do much at the end of the turn, right? Well, yeah, because what happens is if I use all my cards and my resource points, I'm I don't have gonna, anything. Yeah, he has like he has yeah. two or three cards yeah. left over, and I'm yeah. sitting there doing nothing. So now I pass. But, but the but, risk is, is if I pass, it's over. Yeah, but over. you're not gonna pass. I might just. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. we got. We got that strain now. Let me see here. Uh, I think we got caught up on most of the questions. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm just looking at the questions people submitted. Uh, Bill and Billy, what was your favorite Compass game released in 2021? Your personal favorite Compass game of this they year? Haven't, they haven't been released yet. That's what he said. Oh, Imperial Tide for you. Uh, Yours is Imperial Tide. And, and I like Death of the Trenches. Death that. in the trenches. Okay, both. Okay, so so Billy didn't answer the question fairly, but we'll let it pass because uh, you got you got in you got ends. You're the you your co-owner. So, okay, Bill, what's what's your favorite Compass game of 2021? Well, see here here here's what I gotta do. Okay, I gotta um, I gotta take the second on that. Yeah, I can't answer that question. Why not? Can't answer that question. Your favorite game. You can yeah, have a personal you favorite. Oh, no, there you go. I know it. Because you, you like them all. You you do yeah. like them all. We I know like that. Them all. And you want to know something? I'm not going to disrespect somebody because I like them all. Okay, you're too politically correct, obviously. Yeah. That's not going to work. Okay, um, do you have a favorite non... I was going to, yeah, we going to do, away from the, what we just did there. Going on. See, now, if you'd answer the question, Bill, we might hit 200 live viewers. We're only at 188. So if you would answer the question, we could probably draw in more people. Actually, for sure. That's true. Bill loves his kids. That's true. These are, I'm saying, though, these are for the old games. Yeah. All right. So let's ask. We're going to ask everybody else here. So this is the audience participation oh, front for you guys. Can you please type what was your favorite Compass game? Because Bill isn't going to say anything. He's, he's not going to he's not going to fess up. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What was your favorite Compass title released in 2021? So let's see. Let's see what everybody has to say about this. I want to see what people pick for 2021. So we'll no, pick five. Fine. No, I'm not sure now. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Now. Justin's going with the Conquistadors as his favorite game. <laughs> I think okay. Stellar Horizons was before 2021. Yeah. So yeah, no, I like Stellar Horizons. Okay. Yeah, NATO, NATO for sure. Uh Indian Ocean region gets a vote. NATO again. Uh, uh, okay, here's what you do, John. Yeah. John. Okay, yeah. we're gonna auction off um auction oh we're doing an auction yeah oh, okay we're gonna do coalition so auction it off now oh you want to do a giveaway you mean yeah, yeah, you do yeah. A, hurry up you're gonna do quite okay a all right everybody so please get in your uh hashtag uh hashtag town hall you want to type it sorry we were typing all your favorite games for 2021 but you need to stop Need to stop doing that. You need to do a uh, hashtag town hall so we can get you into the contest. All right. All right. So we're going to do uh, our first giveaway, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. For coalition. All right. We're doing a giveaway for coalition. Hold on. Let me get the game. Uh, let me get the game shown here. I think it's only fair and I need to buy time so people can type the hashtag. So let me, let me just do this really quickly. So people can see what we're doing. So here we go. This is what we got. We got coalition. Coalition is going up. We're going to have a winner for tonight. And let's go ahead. I think I've given everybody time. We've got 183 viewers online right now live. I think 187. So it's quite active. We've got 165 entries. Let's see who has won coalition. So here we go. Oh, look. And the winner is going to want to send an email to sales at compassgames.com with your name and address. 
the winner is that old chestnut on YouTube. So that is awesome. That's a great game. You've won Coalition. It's a nice strategic, has a nice uh, traditional war game feel to it. Coalition, Napoleonic uh, uh, campaign. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're going to do another one now. Oh, well, let me make sure that old chestnut knows. Let me just let, let me let him know that he needs to send an email. I see let it, me, though. Let me just do this. Let me type the email address because I think it's just better that way. So, because we we need him to fulfill this to fulfill his destiny, we need him to send an email to sales at compassgames.com, and now everybody can tease the old chestnut for winning uh, this game coalition. So, congratulations to the old chestnut. That's a nice nice win there. All righty. So we're gonna do another uh, another giveaway. Yeah. Um, paperwork ninety six. A week ago. What? It was a week. No, I don't think it was. <laughs> it was. Who was it? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, right. Paper Wars 96. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, roast them over. Okay, who What's won it? Paper Wars 96? What was the game in Paper Wars 96? Who won it? It is... Mr. Never Been to Europe. <laughs> it's like... These titles, these these are great YouTube handles. Oh my gosh, where are they coming from? So, Mister Never Been to Europe, you are the winner of uh, what? What issue is that of Paper Wars ninety? Ninety six. Ninety six. So you need to send an email to sales at compassgames dot com. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another drawing. We're going overtime here, huh? Okay, hold on. Let me fix my no. earpiece. Sorry. So, what are we going to auction off? Uh, what are we giving raffling off this time? No motherland. Which one? No motherland. No motherland. Okay, no motherland. Let's see what we can do there. Here we go. The winner of no motherland is Custer sixty one. YouTube is three for three. Jesus. Facebook is not doing a good showing right now, I'm afraid. So Custer61 has one. That's not it. Yeah, yeah, that is. All right. Yeah, we're in the... So okay. congratulations to Custer61. No motherland without. You have won that game. So send an email to sales at compassgames.com. What are you doing? I have a copy. So I no, can... I know what it is now. I'm noticing a small hiccup in the system. So if anybody did a amp a pound symbol town hall early on at the very beginning of the show, do it one more time just to be safe, please. Just for me, type town hall if you did it at the very beginning of the show, because I'm looking at some numbers that don't add up right to me. I just want to make sure we have it correct. So just type town hall. I want to make sure we have your name. I want to make sure we have your name in the hat. So if you did it in the first 10 minutes of the show tonight, go ahead and, and please type hashtag town hall one more time for me please it won't affect anybody if you've entered twice it's not a problem just want to make sure everybody's in there okay are we going to do any more drawings tonight i figure we might be doing more yeah let's do armageddon okay battle of armageddon deluxe edition let's see who wins that one this is for battle of armageddon deluxe edition and the winner is let's see if it's going to be facebook or youtube it is Facebook is back. Gary Morris on Facebook. Congratulations, Gary. You have won. That's a nice mount. I believe that's mounted map, if I'm not mistaken. Nice deluxe box of Battle of Armageddon. So you are the winner, Gary. And again, send an email to sales at compassgames.com. I think uh, Bill's writing down the name here. You got the name, Bill, for Armageddon, Gary Morris. How would I have them? Well, I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're writing down the name or not. It doesn't matter. It's all recorded. No, they so. email. They email me. Okay. Well, they're going to email you for sure. All the information. Okay. We're good there. Um, Doomsday. Doomsday Project Chapter uh, Episode One, right? Yep. Doomsday Project Episode One. Well, this is a big. This is a big prize, folks. So get ready. Doomsday. This is the last learn to play we did. By the way, the last learn to play was on Doomsday, if I'm not mistaken, right here. Battle yeah. for Germany. That's it right there. So this is going to be a good one. This is a big one. A big game. Adam Starkweather. Everything Adam touches is big. 
this so. Uh, why is Compass Games in there? Compass Games is in there. Oh, YouTube's back with Justin Penwith. Justin. Wait, isn't Justin the one that we helped with the order? That's right. So maybe Justin, your them. order, you've got now another box that's going to be shipping to you when you email us again. Email us with your status of when you receive your game, Sovereign of the Seas, because you just want a huge game. You won the Doomsday Project, Chapter 1. Wow, that is huge. That's unbelievable. That's a big. That's a big win for Justin. I think Justin should be pretty excited about that one. <laughs> okay. That's, um. Geez, okay. We can do. Um. You want to do the others? Yeah. Keep going. Dude. Keep going. Christmas. Go yeah, it's Christmas. Napoleon Imperium. Napoleon's Imperium. This is another huge. This is one of the biggest games I think I saw at Compass. I mean, it's a big box. All right, Napoleon's Imperium. That's from uh, Andrew here, who's uh, joining us from Australia. So he's going to be excited to see who the winner is here, Andrew Rowland. So let's see, Andrew Rowland, your game. Who's going to win your game? So let's see who wins. <laughs> Napoleon's Imperium, a very cool game by Andrew. Oh, E4 oh. Airman on YouTube sneaks in for the win. A dastardly win, I must say. It's one of the biggest boxes I think we have. Napoleon's Imperium. That is a huge prize. Wow. Okay. Are you ready? Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean Region. That was voted as one of the most popular games for 2021. So let's see Indian where'd Ocean Region. Hey, where'd you hear that? That's not true. No? That's what I heard. People were putting it down in the comments. <laughs> Paul Walker. I'm a big fan of his movies, by the way. He is such a fan of this game. He has come back from the abyss. Paul Walker on YouTube. I don't know if it's Paul's first time joining us or not, but but Paul has won. He crashes car. It's not the same guy. No, it's not. It's the same guy. No, it's not the same guy who who died who died in okay, a Ferrari. No, this this is this is another Paul Walker. So Paul, congratulations for your Indian Ocean uh, Korean region. War. Korean War. All oh, right, time for. He's not dead, so he gets the thing. That's right, not dead. He has to still email. So if he yeah. this this proves he's still alive, he has to send you an email, yes. right? Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're drawing for the Korean War, which was I think top three seller, number three seller for twenty twenty. Got it. The winner of the Korean War from Joe Bukowski is Bruce oh. Yerian. There you go, Bruce. He didn't, he didn't do the artwork. So he didn't good. do the artwork for this one, so he's he's won a nice little game here. Well, not little. It's four maps. So congratulations, Bruce. I think you know the email address. Okay, so Paper we're not Wars gonna... 97. Which game is in Paper Wars 97? Battle Galicia. Yeah, Bill said it. Which one? Battle of Galicia. Battle of, oh, Battle of Galicia. Uh, great game, World War One. Okay, this is a good one. Battle of Galicia. Good, good, um, good at it, though. In 97, World War One. Yep. Let's see who's the winner for Paper Wars. The winner is Bob Moriarty on YouTube channel. YouTube is taking a big sweep here. Bob, you have won Paper Wars with Battle for Galicia. Very cool game. I think you're going to enjoy that Defending one. Defending America. Defending America. Oh, Gregory Smith's on board with that one tonight. So here we go. Nice solitaire game. Playing the other side of America Bomber. Now you're defending America. Let's see who's going to be defending America. Solitaire game. Very very nice game to have for yeah. New Year. <laughs> and the winner of Defending America is on Facebook. Curtis Milburn has won. He has defended America successfully. So he is taking that game. Congratulations. Okay, the Pacific War. Oh, my God. The Pacific War. Wait, I want to get my way. I want to put my name in. Hold on. A ampersand, uh, pound symbol, town hall. Hold on. All right. We're doing the War of the Pacific. Okay, this one's huge. All right, guys. And we're at 197 viewers. We're almost at 200, which would be wow, definitely... Wow, Ready broke, broke the record. We only need three more. We only need three more to... Already broke the record, but yeah. we had, we're at 198. Oh, we're at 198. Oh, we need two more to hit 200. Here we go. All right. I wish I wish I could win this one. I really wish I could win the War of the Pacific. I really want this one. I'm going to be very jealous here. Sorry. I'm going to get a little jealous here. The winner of a awesome, awesome game. Mark Vardell on YouTube. Wow. 
<laughs> he's smiling already. He's already smiling because he knew he was going to win it. Ah, I hate that when he knows he's going to win it. He's smiling, smiling back at us because he, he was so confident. Okay, Granada. Granada. All right, Granada. That is that is one of the I think most attractive games we've got from this year with the wooden pieces. So Granada is a very cool, sort of based on Sega Gahara uh, game system, but it's on Granada. Different topic. So let's see. Eric Cabral is the winner over on Facebook, and he's got somebody with him cheating to get the win. I could see somebody pictured with him. He got to help him win this game. Granada. Look at that. Congratulations, Eric. You have won Granada. Make sure you send an email to sales. Everybody that's won tonight, send an email to sales at compassgames.com with the game you won and your address. So Eric has won Granada. Very cool looking game. Okay, Paper Wars 98. Like Paper Wars 98. What was the game, Billy? Paper Wars 98. Uh, was that Alma? Yeah, Battle yeah. of Alma. All right, Battle of Alma, Paper Wars 98. Let's get a winner. We're at 200, we're at 200 viewers live. It's a new record, by the way. So we've hit 200 live viewers. Ah, we just dropped the 199 again. Darn it. Brian on Facebook, Brian Collins, you are the winner of Paper Wars featuring the game Alma, issue 98. Congratulations. First Blood in the Crimea, Alma. That is the one. Thank you for the assist from Mo. Congratulations, Brian. You're more than welcome. Thanks for all the support. Okay, Paper Wars 99. Oh, this, can I enter this one? I want to enter this one because this is a North Africa game. I have a sweet spot for North Africa, World War II. All right, this is Paper Wars 99, everybody. This is uh, the game featuring Assault on Tobruk. Also has an expansion for uh devil uh devil boats as well so this is a this is a big issue so get a devil boats add-on as well as <laughs> assault on tobruk oh, wow. and the winner of paper wars 99 is aaron danis i believe aaron's in my area here in texas i think texas might be taking the win on this one has the spi logo well played aaron makes sense i think that's the perfect game for the spi enthusiast assault on tobruk so congratulations oh to aaron he has won paper wars 99. very cool aaron very cool okay cradle of civilization all right another huge box cradle one of the biggest boxes we have again is cradle of civilization let's see who wins cradle of civilization that's actually two games in one that's two games in one box by the way so this is like a double victory this will be a double victory for Harvey Lowe. You're not low anymore. You're very on a high because you've got two games in one box, Harvey. Don't be low about it. Be high. So he is very happy. You've got Cradle of Civilization. Two games in one. That mean, And you don't have to send two emails to claim it. You can just send one email because it's in one box. That's that's the beauty of it. So it's a very big, heavy box, which I, I can understand. I think Mo was... It's a very heavy box, so congratulations. You don't have to buy that uh, annual fitness club membership anymore. You've got Cradle of Civilization. You're going to be hefting around okay, the I house. I think the last one, because then I think we've done them all. Okay, so, last one. We haven't, but okay, is Devil Boat. Devil Boats. Okay, that was the first release, I believe, of 2021, yeah. I want to say. So let's see who the winner is of our first release for 2021, Devil Boats. It's a solitaire game. So you're going to be taken care of no matter who wins it. And let's see who the winner of Devil Boats is. Gilbert Collins. Ah, Gilbert. No, one of our great. Like I'm not shipping to Canada for him. Oh, we're not shipping to Canada. I'm so sorry, Gilbert. You did not win unless you move. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to have to actually walk. You're going to have to walk to our warehouse and pick it up in person. Yes. But now, Gilbert, congratulations on winning, Gilbert. That's. And which one great, did I give him? Oh, Devil's, Devil's Boat. Yeah. Devil Boats. He won Devil Boats, the first release from 2021. And it is solitaire, so I think Gilbert will enjoy that. Okay, and the last one, Kharkov Battles. Oh, whoa, wait, Kark Okay, that's that's one of our most recent releases. Kharkov Battles, which you only have, you sure you have stock for that. You only have 10% stock. Know, we can do them. it. We can do it. Okay, Kharkov Battles. This is a big one. Uh, as Brittany knows, Brittany knows Kharkov Battles is a very popular title. She's one of the first people who oh, picked it up. Okay, <laughs> So oh, Kharkov Battles, and we got the Fall Blow reprint that Bill's got his arm twisted to do, which goes well together. So Kharkov Battles is standalone. 
Justin Penwith gets a huge victory. Justin gets a huge victory with Karkov battles on YouTube. That's a huge win. That's he right up there with won. the War of the Pacific, also, I think. That's his second that's one. His second winning. He gets to win it twice. I get no. Uh, he gets to win it twice. I guess he got to use one box. No, he won. Yeah, because he won the other game earlier. Yeah. He's. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I, I don't control. I did not write the software. I did not. Justin, do not hold me accountable. I. I it's. Uh, I did not write the software to pick the winner twice. We're crashing the system because there's too many winners. That's why there's. We're, we're crushing the system. Now, did you understand what all these games had in common, John? What all these games have in common? Does anybody? Well, I think they were all 2021 releases. Oh, well, see, that's what they were. Ah, very interesting. Yes, I, I, I did catch on that they were all 2021 releases. I was thinking if I might go deeper in that, but they were all, they're all very, very, very uh, release, very different yes. titles. Big games, Ancients, World War II, Solitaire, Non Solitaire, Multiplayer. We would need NATO, but I don't have any. Paper Wars. We would do NATO, but NATO is sold out. Yeah, I don't have any. So. Unfortunately, we can do NATO. <laughs> yep, all from Compass Games from 2021, except for NATO, because NATO is sold out. Yeah, NATO is sold out. So that's, so that's it. So that's awesome. So uh, let me do this one thing here just to let everybody know something we're working on behind the scenes. I've uh, been, been working with Mo on this uh, and just want to give you guys a sneak peek. So as you know, Mo's been uh, helping us. Uh, let me show you again. Mo's been helping us with the Learning Library uh, video series. So here we have our Learn to Play series of our videos. We do one per month. We'll have a new one in January. So wow. maybe it will be Imperial Tide hosted by Bill and Billy. I don't know. We have to find out about that. But our next step, what we want to do is, is the following. We want to have in one centralized location, we want to have every video that we can literally find, every video that we can find that's been done on each of our games. And using WordPress, we haven't found a really good solution for that, to find a way to do that. So we've come up with an idea. And what I'm showing now, I'll go full. I'll go full view here. This is a. Uh, this is just a mock-up. So what this is, this is uh, say a micro site. We, we we would have a link on the Compass Games website. Notice it has the Learn to Play series on it. So I can go here, and here you can see all the various Learn to Play series videos. So they're they're all there. We have all six so far. Then I can go to the Compass Games website link right here, back to our homepage, or I can do this, where we'll have a hundred plus games. Uh, available. I've done just a sort of a, a mock-up here. We've got a few select games here. They'll all be alphabetical. We've got America Bomber, Attrition of Souls, Combat, Defending America. Again, just, just six titles to give you an idea. So the concept is you would just come here, you would pick the game you're interested in, and voila, you've now got every video that we can literally find that's on that game. And you can go back and you can pick another game. Okay, I want to see what we have for America Bomber by Gregory Smith. And there you go. There's every video of that game. So again, the concept, what we're trying to accomplish here is obviously there's a lot of videos and great content contributors out there doing a lot of coverage. So we want to give you a way to easily look up, pick a game and see all the videos that have been done posted for that game. So that's something we're doing. We are going to scrub for, we've already scrubbed for quality. So uh, every video is getting reviewed by Billy and Julian as well. So, so that is something we're doing just to let you know. And uh, there is one idea we had, although it would upset. So if you look at this layout, I'll make it smaller. It works great on a phone, by the way. But this is a uniform layout. You'll notice it's, it's all, they all are very evenly rowed, you know, all the rows align. We could have the option to add rules, the PDF of the rules, and add the product page link, and add the Board Game Geek, leak, uh, board game geek link. But if we add these different links, they're going to have different sizes to them, and it's going to make everything on the page, uh, the, row, the row isn't going to align anymore. Everything's going to be scattered. But notice here, everything is on an even row, very neatly organized. So I don't know how you guys would feel about if we just keep this for videos only. That way, everything aligns on a row, very cleanly organized. If there's a new video posted, it will always land at the very top uh, of the page. But uh, we are just thinking to just 
limit it to videos for now. And maybe later we can decide to add uh, the rules and the Board Game Geek link. Everybody knows where the Board Game Geek link is. I don't think that adds much value. But the concept here, again, is you go to a games directory. Again, I've just got the six I've done so far. I'll go to combat now. But the idea here is you can see all the videos that we could find that we've scrubbed. And we'll add more as they're done. So I'll stop there. And Bill's back, I think. You're not muted hey, anymore. Hey, John. Yeah? I, I think we have a... Um, how should I say this? I don't want to say this stuff. But I think we have a problem. Okay. Okay, and you want to know what that problem is? Yeah, uh, no, I don't want to know what the problem is. I'm going to go now. I got I to gotta run and, and eat yeah. real quick. I think we have a spy in our midst. A spy? Yes, like the old 1960 spies. And we caught him. He caught the spy? Oh, my goodness. Yes, because no, why? What does a spy do with his name? He changes his name. Correct. Hey. Now, this Justin guy who won three games... That's not his real name. Yeah, he won two. That's not his real name. name Yeah, that that happens a lot on YouTube, though. People use pseudonyms and things or fake names. So I'll give you an example. Hold on. Let me see if I can. uh, Here's one. Here's a cinnamon, a, a, a no, pseudonym, no, pseudonym. That's, that's not like a name name. This, he used a name. Yeah, he like used an name actual name. name. Like it's, it sounds like an actual someone's name. That's true. Know. That's true. Like this. Like it's not really John Longshore or. That is his name. That or is it's not really. Name. It's not really Henry. It's really that Carlita. Carlita, who I'm. I had a rendezvous with in high school back in Mexico or something like that. Right. I get oh, the idea. He, he said he never uses his real name. Right. right. I think I'm like an expert. I should be in the. Um, that I I totally get what just. I know a few people that do that. They they purposely make sure they're not using their their real name online. It's it's definitely yeah, a. It could, uh, like, no, no. It could be like I love cats instead of his, an actual name. You know no, I mean? but I gotta say that I am great in that I figured that out. You did, yeah. <laughs> And, and and actually, this Justin Penwith, there's actually 20 different accounts with the same name. He's he's got 20 computers at home, and he, he's hitting he's hitting that draw each time. That's why he won so many times. God, I'm unbelievable. Yeah, he figured that out. Hey, hang on, who's calling? Hang on, um, who's calling? CIA, CIA is calling me. They want uh, me Joe. Joe me. has a background with the CIA, so he he said he was down with that. <laughs> Oh, this is it. This is great. Aaron wins the post of the night. He doesn't use his real name just in case. <laughs> Dan, no, we, Dan, funny. I don't know what's going on either. It's okay. I'm, I'm right there with you, Dan. So I have no it's... idea what's going on. We don't either. That's not... We're not teasing. We're not picking on you, Justin. But you know, Bill, Bill's figured something out. He likes to. He, he's like a little mini sleuth. He likes to. He likes to. You know, let oh, people know when he's Bill figured. Bill didn't know what that meant. What? What did he just say? No, there's another word that I know the difference. What did you just call a detective? A sleuth? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't know what sleuth was. Yeah. yeah. See, that's like a 1950. I, I got that because there's a game called, t- uh, there's a great game called 221B Baker Street. And I think on the title of the game on the box, it uses the sleuth, the word sleuth. Yeah, okay, but it's a great, it's, it's a great got- game. It's a great game. Great family oh. game. Okay. For if you're into you Sherlock Holmes, the Hardy Boys. Yeah, Hardy Boys, same thing. Well, that's what that. Yeah, they use that terminology. Yeah, 18, back in the 1800s. 1810. Well, John it. was in the Roman Empire. Well, you obviously were too. No, well, yeah, my. Be. Be. So yeah. All right. So, so just want I wanted everybody just to have a sneak peek of what we got planned. So we'll be working on this over the holidays. Uh, we've got a lot of the videos already quality checked. Uh, Mo created a long list of th- hundreds of videos. And they're going. We're going through them, and uh, yeah, we'll be posting them as you see here, based on uh, each particular game title. So thanks for uh, thanks for letting me know that's something you guys are interested in to have a one shop, one stop shop for uh, videos about Compass Game products. So I appreciate that very much. Yeah, no one over No, in my old room, you could keep in your office. That's what I said. Your old room. Your office. Go get that one. All righty. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do an unboxing just to close out the year in style? Here, yes. are we gonna do an unboxing? Yes. Oh, awesome! My my dream has been answered. I, I wanted an unboxing. The one that has the bottom, yeah, I think all the other ones don't have. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's exciting. Don't you think? Yeah, that is. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, like 
again, it's just fun doing this stuff. Yeah, well, thanks to everybody, and thanks for uh, helping us. Wow. It was so nice. We we hit 200 at, at one point tonight, which is uh, pretty amazing to hit 200 live viewers. So thank you. Now, Enemy so Action much. Ardennes is actually going to take over as the highest selling, as the most units sold game that we've ever had. Enemy Action Ardennes doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, I believe it. I know you've done a lot of editions of Bitter Woods as well. Oh, yeah. No, here... Histor here are big winners. No peace. Uh-huh. Crusades and Revolution. Yeah, yep. Bit of Woods. Enemy Bitter Woods. Action or Dens. Yep, for sure. Lamps. Lamps. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, South China Sea. Yep. African campaign. Yep. Battle him yep. one. Raiders. Raiders yeah, by Yeah, that's, that's right. unbelievable. Um Night Fighter. Night Arts Fighter Ace. Yep. yep. Combat, Blue Water Navy, Stellar Horizons, and Brotherhood are all like, yeah, no. I just saw, you know, I saw on Facebook this week more posts about Enemy Action Ardennes. People playing it all the time. They love it. Oh, my just, God. Just love it. We, we did a reprint, and I said, yeah, I'm going to do, because we had some some stuff in stock, so we printed all the other stuff and i said yeah i'll do it. i'll see but but it's gonna last me for um we've sold 60 percent of that oh what's that bill yeah no maps oh, shit, I forgot. A... okay now this is gonna be a sleeper game bill and me argued and i i looked at this and really I, argue. I, just... I think this is gonna be one of those things that people are gonna love all right Ah, look at what we have here. Okay, let's put you in full view here. 2040 and American Insurgency. Okay. He's got a back. Yep, there's the back. Yep. Now, did you say the map was getting redone or something before, Bill? Oh. Is what? this is this where the map got redone, I thought, maybe? No. Oh, I thought the map was getting redone. Was Are you campaign. No, I thought you did it for 2040, though. No? Okay. No, no. I got confused. There we go. Player eight card. Yep. Federal operations. Very, very general simple, operation. Very simple, quick game, but a lot of decisions you have to make. All right. There we go. So a lot of decision making in the game. It's a it's it's a multiplayer. I have to get the product page out. Can't remember how many players. No two. Two player game. Okay. Yep. There we go. Can actually see the rules. They're pretty good. Yeah, best with two. Best with two players, one to two, best with two. Okay. We got the little red with blue thing. Yep. Good night, E4 Airman. Have a good night. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Yes. Have a good one. Yep. Now, Looks like a good set of rules. Of this is this is the best example of play I've ever seen. Oh, all right. And we, yeah, examples of play are important. That's, yep. Nice and full if spread. If you want to get into the game, so she was, it's like five pages. The whole. Rules are only 22 pages. Very basic counters. Yep, yep. Yay for that. Oh, boy, that was. Yep, another player aid for Rebel Operations. It's the other side for the other player. Story pool for... Uh, yeah, I guess that's that's very, the yeah, very media. interesting dy dynamics with that. Have you guys played it yet? Or you've gone through the rules so far? No, I've actually um, went through the example of play and played a couple of turns. Oh, great. Good. So you're speaking from experience. A little. Yeah, a lot of cards. I think 100, and I think, I don't know how many. More than 100 five. cards? Yep. A lot of cards, see? Oh, Same okay. to you, David. Thanks for joining us. There's all the cards. Yep, lots of cards. Yeah, now I'm showing you the map. All right, the map. This is a mounted map, I believe. Yeah, story little, cards. Little, little, Those are the story cards, the little yeah, smaller yeah. cards, or story yeah. cards, okay? Now, the story cards, is that like the media, what, what's posted yeah. in the media? Is that yeah. what that is? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Same to you, Paul. Same to you. There's the mounted map. There we go. Looks nice. Yes, has sort of that Euro style feel to it. Like somebody was saying earlier, you know, Kempa's having a diverse line of games. Mm -hmm. Obviously not your typical hex based war game here at all. So, so very that is it. Yep, very cool. 
<clears throat> Happy New Year to you too, Don. To yes, everybody. Happy New Year. Have a good Christmas and all that good stuff. Yeah, SPI is Minutemen. That's uh, that was a hex based game, I believe, from SPI. How do you like that? Yeah. All righty. So thanks for uh, that. Well, now my I feel like my year's complete now because I got an unboxing from you at the end of the year. Right. I feel like I can now call it look, call look it a good twenty twenty one. And that's the oh, we got another one here. What's this? Eighteen twelve. Eighteen twelve. I haven't seen this before, have we? No. You pulled this out. This is like a surprise. Oh, nice looking box. Wow. What? Great legs, Frontier. That looks awesome. I'm going to show some stuff because. Yeah, because we got some stuff, but you just show the whole thing. Yeah, we so got This is a bonus. We got a bonus round going on here. There's the rule booklet for 1812, Great Lakes Frontier. Nice, nice. nice this is definitely a surprise. Well, it's not. Oh, nice rule booklet layout. Like that. It's got a nice feel to it already. Thing is, it has a battle board, but we, we made him do. Um, we made the designer actually and the developer actually do a um, CRT. This is uh, Brittany's most ante anticipated game for next year, so she's looking forward to seeing it. There's the playbook for the scenarios, etc. Awesome. Yeah, nice. <laughs> See? Little counters. And... Very nice. Yeah, look, a uh, rule book that looks really good. Really good job on the rule booklet. And her. Some of the cards. There we go. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Explains what's going on. Yep. Got yep. the yep. Looks good. Okay. Deck. Yep, that's yeah, right. Everybody uh, wins 20, tonight. 40, Two unboxing. 24 of your decks combined. So you pick, you can pick the other side, but um this one isn't combined. So they have two they have separate decks. Well, maybe it is combined. Yep, lots of cards, so that's cool. Yep. Lots of cards and a lot of charts. And that's it. All righty. So we're we're good to go. So the map, yeah, map we can see later. Yeah, map it maps aren't done. Those are done in the United States. Okay. All righty. Most because they're paper, so sounds good. Well that was good. That was a nice surprise to see some of eighteen twelve there. So awesome. Lots of games to look forward to in 2022. Well, when we move, when we go, when we're done. As, okay, as, well, Dennis, wow. as Dennis says, this was our 3852 series of unboxings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I hope everybody has a great holiday and be safe and have fun, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, That's right. We'll see everybody have a great holiday. So, so thank you so much again for all the support. It's been wonderful uh, getting such support from you guys. It was great to meet you also at the Compass Games Expo this year. And I uh, want to wish you all the best with family all over the holidays. And we'll see you early on in January 2022. Yep. And get Take, care. Another... Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for being on with us tonight. It's great Merry to see Christmas. you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye, guys. He waved.